I got on my bike and I went onto the road and I don't really know what happened after that. All I know is I got on my bike and I sort of wheeled my bike onto the road and then my mind just went blank from there, really. I don't really know what happened after that. So I then just hopped my bike, got my helmet on, and just as fast as I could, I pedalled straight back home and told Dad Jamie's been hit by a van. I was at work and I got a phone call from my partner Rob and um, Jamie's dad to say, uh, don't panic, but Jamie's been hit by a van. And of course you do panic. I get to the end of the alleyway, which is where I've run along, and I can see the police cordoning off the road with the yellow tape. Um, I see an ambulance, paramedic, police cars, the heart just sinks, and think, blimey, this is <clears throat> not good. Um, and I get there, and there is a paramedic with Jamie who's lying on the ground. You can see he was bleeding from his mouth, he's, he's, he's lost a tooth, his teeth were wobbly. He's complaining that his ankle really hurts. Um, um, but it, as awful as it was, I knew he was in the best hands possible, um, which was great. Um, awful, awful situation which you wouldn't want anybody to be in at all, but in the best possible hands, and that's, you know, all you can really hope for, really. It was critical that the uh, ambulance team uh, looked after him. Without them, there might have been a totally different scenario.